Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add a settings option to the context menu on Windows 10. So if you ever want to just right click somewhere on your desktop and then just immediately access settings tools. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to jump right into it and in the description of the video I'm going to have a paste bin link. I want you guys to copy all the contents of it and then once you've copied it you want to open up a notepad file on your computer. We're going to be pasting everything in from this paste bin file. So I'm actually going to just open up a web link here. So I'm going to open up the same one that I'm going to have in the description of the video because I've already pasted it. So might as well just walk you guys through the exact process that I want you to follow. So. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the contents of this. Make sure you don't cut anything out of it. Just make sure you copy everything down to line 106. And then once you have that, you can minimize or close out your web browser. I don't really care. And then open up your notepad file and then just paste it in. Now that you have your notepad file here, you want to go ahead and just select a file, save as, name this file as settings, and then do a minus sign menu dot reg. So again, settings minus sign menu dot reg. Save as type. Click inside of this drop down menu and select all files, and then encoding. Click inside this drop down and select ansi. Save this to the desktop on the left side, so select desktop, and now select save. Now that you've done that, close out of here. Now if you want to create a backup of your registry before doing this and applying this update, you're welcome to. So if anything went wrong or you don't want to have it in the future, you can just create a restore point. So in order to create a registry backup, it's very simple. Just open up the start menu. Type in reg edit, so R-E-G. So the best match should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now go ahead and select the file tab. Select export. You can name the file name whatever you want. Usually the date that I'm making the backup is what I would recommend. And then export range should be selected to all. And then save it to convenient location on your computer and then just finish it off by selecting save. And if anything ever went wrong and you need to restore it back, you just select the file and import tab and just locate the file. So very straightforward process of how to do that. So now is the big event. We're going to go double click on our registry entry that we just created about a minute ago. And we're going to select yes. We're going to be adding this to the registry. It's going to say adding information, unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. If you do not trust the source of this information, do not add it to the registry. Select the yes. It should say that it has been added successfully. So if you did it right, I don't see why you shouldn't have done it right. You saw me do the entire process right before your eyes. So select OK. And now for the moment of truth, if we right click on our desktop, we have a settings option now. So definitely cool. I could definitely you know, say that this is useful in many regards. Let's just open something up. So let's open up the apps section. As a power user, there are certainly benefits to it. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And you can delete this registry file on your desktop. You don't need it anymore, by the way. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.